All right, our first task is to determine who is the acid and who is the base in the following reactions. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Bronsted-Lowry definition, which was all about the give and take of H+, which you'll hear me refer to this as a proton in chemical reactions. Now, if we're looking for the giving and taking of H+, well, obviously we can track the hydrogens. So if I look at the Cn- minus right here, see how he came in with no Hs, no protons, but he left with one of them? That tells me he accepted a hydrogen, and that makes him a base. Now, things that give hydrogens are considered to be acids. So we know that this guy right here gave hydrogens because he came in with two of them, but left with only one. So since he gave hydrogen, he is an acid. Coming down here, I can apply that same logic. H2O comes in with two protons, two of the hydrogens, but leaves with only one of them. So he must be the one giving them away, making him the acid. The NH3 came in with three, but left with four. He's accepting them. That makes him the base. Now, both of these guys, because we talked about the give and the take of hydrogens, the acids and bases here are both going to be considered Bronsted-Lowry. So I'm going to make a little notation here. I'm just going to write B-L, B-L, and that's short for Bronsted-Lowry. So these would be considered acids and bases under Bronsted-Lowry's definition. Now for Arrhenius, Arrhenius was more focused on water. And what Arrhenius talked about is what effect this would have on water. So water would actually be part of the equation. The things to look for for Arrhenius are OH-, which is called hydroxide, and H3O+, which is called hydronium. Now, if you don't see these guys in the reaction, it's not going to be considered an acid-base reaction under Arrhenius. So this first reaction right here, notice that hydroxide and hydronium, neither of them came up in this reaction. So this is just going to be an acid-base reaction by Bronsted-Lowry. But the second reaction involved water and produced hydroxide. That tells me it's Bronsted-Lowry and Arrhenius. They would have agreed on these guys being acids and bases. So I'm going to say both. Bronsted-Lowry and Arrhenius would agree on this being an acid-base reaction. 